Welcome to the Pacific Northwest edition of America Outdoors Radio. We've got a fast-paced hour of fishing, hunting, and conservation covering the nation and the Northwest, including 13 extra minutes of local content you'll only hear on Seattle's Sports Radio 950 KJR. Happy Saturday morning to you. I hope you're on your way to go hunting or fishing. We've got some great guests for you today on our Pacific Northwest edition to include Brad Hole with KayakFishingWashington.com. He's going to tell you about the Salmon Sleigh Ride Derby. It's coming up October 27th. It'll be taking place at Hoodsport. You'll be fishing for those powerful chum salmon, and you'll be doing it out of a kayak. Hence the phrase Salmon Sleigh Ride. Better still, proceeds are going to benefit a great organization called Heroes on the Water. That interview is going to happen at the half hour mark of our show today. And at the end of our program, Bruce Warren with Fishing for Fun Guide Services back to talk about some specific lures and techniques you can use in our western Washington rivers this fall for both coho and winter steelhead. Speaking of coho... That Coho Derby continues at your Puget Sound area Sportsman's Warehouse stores through the 31st. Simply bring any Coho you catch to the Federal Way, Puyallup, Silverdale, or Everett Sportsman's Warehouse store. Get it photographed and weighed, and you're entered for a chance to win some serious prizes in the form of gift cards, and the big winner will get a gift card worth a 1000 bucks. And that Coho Derby kicks off our segment of What's Hot... This week in the Pacific Northwest, another thing that's hot is pheasant hunting. The openers today in eastern Washington. Birds have been released in a number of wildlife areas, but if you're after wild birds and are going just by harvest numbers, the place to be is Grant County in the Columbia Basin. The general hot areas there include a swath of land between Wilson Creek and Odessa, between Warden and George, and between Othello and Royal City. There are state lands to hunt on, of course, but there's also edges of farm fields and ditches that hold roosters too. Just be sure to get permission to hunt on private land before you venture out on those fields. Another option, the feel free to hunt or hunt by written permission properties you'll find through the hunting page of the WDFW website and there is also hunting on private lands through the Royal Slope Booster Club. You can find out more about that opportunity at the Mardon Resort Store at the south end of Potholes Reservoir. We've got some reports to share from WDFW regarding the deer opener last weekend. In Okanagan County, 82 hunters were checked near Winthrop with 13 deer and 3 bears. That's fewer hunters, but the same success rate as last year, which is exactly what happened at Deer Park north of Spokane, where 127 hunters were checked with 35 white-tail deer and 3 mule deer. Chelan County reported slow deer hunting on the opener, but in northeast Washington by Chewila, 49 hunters were checked with 10 deer, 2 turkeys, and believe it or not, 2 cougars. Turning to fishing, the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife continues its fall stockings in area lakes. Over the last two weeks, Lake Padden in Whatcom County got a plan of 1,100 rainbows. Grandly Lake in Skagit County got 580 trout. And Lake St. Clair in Thurston County received 520 rainbow trout. By the way, all of these trout, they're nice ones, averaging 12 to 16 inches in size. Meanwhile, at NorthwestFisherReports.com, poster Reynolds J. shared photos and video with some great music, by the way, of a kokanee trip with his daughter at Lake Kavanaugh in Skagit County. This is a lake that really flies under the radar, but with 15 kokanee caught, along with three bonus trout, maybe it shouldn't. Oh, and back to hunting. If you haven't gone out for deer yet, you may want to this weekend. Mule deer hunting ends the evening of Tuesday the 23rd, and so does whitetail deer hunting in most of eastern Washington, though a few units remain open through the 26th. As for blacktail deer, don't sweat it. You've still got until Halloween to tag a buck on the west side. And now you know what's hot and what's not right here in the Pacific Northwest. That's your first local shot of the outdoors. Now let's see what's going on across the nation. Backcountry hunters and anglers, the men and women working hard to keep public lands in public hands. Check us out at backcountryhunters.org. 
Ready for more local fishing and hunting? You got it. It's the Pacific Northwest edition of America Outdoors Radio. Right here on Seattle's Sports Radio 950 KJR. Let's check in with Brad Hole. He is the person behind the website kayakfishingwashington.com. Very well-known kayak angler here in the Northwest. Brad, I understand that there's going to be a Chum Salmon Derby October 27th at Hoodsport. It's called the Heroes on the Water Kayaking Derby or the Salmon Sleigh Ride. Tell our listeners more about it. Yeah, it's coming up on October 27th, which is Saturday. It's out at Hoodsport. It's $40 to sign up. All you have to do is bring your kayak with you and sign a waiver. $50 if you decide to sign up the day of. And it is a bag limit. You weighing in your top fish. Uh, the first prize is a cash prize which is a 50-50 split with Heroes on the Water. And then we have a bunch of great prizes from a variety of different sponsors that have donated to this event. What's great about it is all the money goes towards Heroes on the Water Northwest Chapter, which they take out war vets and their families for a day of kayak fishing. And these types of events raise money to go towards equipment, you know, fishing gear and, and kayaks. And so get, they can take these uh, these folks out and put them on some fish and kind of take their mind off their day-to-day lives and reward them for what they've done for our country. You know, I, I've gotten to talk to the Heroes on the Water folks at the Puyallup Sportsman Show the last couple of years. This is a great organization. Love what they're doing. Uh, as for the fishing derby itself, this sounds like a ton of fun. Have you ever hooked into a chum salmon out of a kayak? I would imagine it really is a sleigh ride. You're going to get towed all over the place, aren't you? Oh, it's great, especially on light gear. You know, I tend to use like a, a lightweight bass rod and, and twitch jigs myself, and then you hook onto one and you hang on. Whereas in a boat, you know, you're having to fight the fish with the rod and reel to give you leverage. These fish actually have to tow you in the kayak. So that's what kind of makes it fun. Uh, whether you decide to keep the fish or release them, that's up to you. But um, it should be a great event, and it usually pulls out quite a few kayak anglers from around the area. And I, I know some people from the Tri-Cities coming over for this event. Well, Brad, it sounds like an absolute hoot. Again, it's the Heroes on the Water Kayaking Derby at Hoodsport in Hood Canal. It's taking place Saturday, October 27th. You can enter in advance for $40. Just go to 2018 Salmon Sleigh Ride Derby on Facebook or just show up that morning at the Sunrise Motel and Dive Shop in Hoodsport. Pay $50. Again, it's a 50-50 split for the winner between the money you take home and the money that goes to Heroes on the Water a great organization helping our veterans. Brad, thanks for telling us about this today on America Outdoors Radio. Thanks for having me, John. Don't leave yet. We've got one more local shot of fishing and hunting to wrap up the Pacific Northwest edition of America Outdoors Radio. With us here is Bruce Warren, the owner of Fishing for Fun Guide Service and a pro staffer for Max Lure Company. Bruce, great to have you back on the show. Thanks, John. Really appreciate it. It's a little ways out still, but it's never too early to think about late season coho and early season winter steelhead. Do you have any recommendations on what folks ought to be using to get into both species of fish? Well, there's lots of different things to use out there. Jigs are always a wonderful thing, and uh, Max Lures has some incredible jigs to throw at them. Twitching works, or uh, jigs under a float works, uh, for both steelhead and coho. Also, if you're going to back troll, the way we can do it is we'll put a leader on there, we'll put a couple of smile blades on there, and maybe a pill float or a cha-cha float to help get that bait floated up. But also, they've got this cool product called the Wiggle Hoochie Bill. Sometimes we don't get quite enough action on our bait to entice these fish to bite. That Wiggle Hoochie Bill, you thread it on there, put it above your hook, and it will add flash, it will add UV, and it will add wiggle to your bait. Incredible product. In fact, it almost turns your bait offering into a plugged bait offering, doesn't it? Absolutely. Incredible little product. I'm sure glad we got them at Max. I love them. All right. So, last but not least, when it comes to coho and winter steelhead and a mix of both, what are your top rivers to fish for these? Well, I'm guide on the hump tulips, Wainuchi and Sassip. Great rivers to fish, but don't rule out other things. Callus has some really nice runs in it, as some of the coastal streams, the sole duck, bulga shield, and stuff like that. And I presume this same setup is going to work in some of those Oregon coastal streams as well. Absolutely. The Clackamas, uh, downtown Portland, Oregon City, out on the Wilson, Trask, stuff like that. Yes, wiggle hoochies, smile blades, work anywhere there's a fish that swims. 
Well, if you want to find out more or go fishing with Bruce, go to his website. It's fishingforfunguideservice.com. That's fishingforfunguideservice.com. Bruce will be fishing the hump tulips for a while, but he'll be fishing other southwest Washington streams, too, and you're welcome to join him. Thanks, Bruce. Thanks, John. Have a great day. That's all for this week, but don't worry. We'll do it all again next Saturday morning from 7 to 8, right here on Seattle's Sports Radio 950 KJR. Are you looking to reel in the marketing opportunity of a lifetime? America Outdoors Radio has sponsorships available, and we offer affordable platforms to reach thousands of listeners. Find out more by contacting John Cruz through his website at AmericaOutdoorsRadio.com. NorthwestFishingReports.com is the Northwest's largest fishing reports website, featuring well over 50,000 fishing reports, videos, articles, and more, all 100% free. Catch more fish with Northwest Fishing Reports. Log on today.